stuck. Relax. We've got everything under control. Citizen Brown, that's Doc, all right, but what the heck's going on here? This is the dumbest design ever. Uh, hello? She can't hear me. Don't worry, everybody. I'm okay. The billboard broke my fall. Jennifer? It's jammed. Jennifer, I need some help. Martin? It is you. Is that a DeLorean? Uh, well, yeah, it's a DeLorean. What else would it be? How the hell did it get into the billboard like that? Uh, never mind that. Just give me a hand, okay? So who are you supposed to be? Luke or Bo? This isn't funny, Jennifer. You help me down. Why don't you just jump? I'll break my neck. And? You got any rope you can toss me? Uh-uh. All I have is this rusty wrench thing I found in the dirt. A tire iron? I think that'll do. Toss it here. Oh, back off, Martin. This is my whatchamacallit. What do you give me for it? All right, let me think this through. Don't strain your brain, Geekzilla. Jennifer! This is all I got. Is there anything in it? Give it here. Ugh, it smells like armpits and booze. Irving Kid Tannen, the gangster? Where the hell did you get this? It's a long story. Can I just have the tire iron now? Heads up! Thanks. Oh, great. Now what? Oops. Oh. Well, your dorkness, my debt to society is paid. As for you, good luck with your car. Way to stick it to Big Brother. Just don't expect your sudden cry for attention to change anything between us, dig? It doesn't change what? Look, Jennifer, I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift into town. Oh, sure, Martin. Climb on in. Hey, Jennifer, wait! I told you, we're through, McFly. I'll never date such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square?
Jesus, could this get any worse? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I could really use your help right about now. Relax. We've got everything under control. Uh, check, check. Sibilance, sibilance. Who is this? Stop messing with the intercom. Oh, ha <laughs> ha, hi. Uh, can you buzz me in? Visitors must check in at the North Gate. Oh. North Gate? I'm not walking clear around Hill Valley. There's gotta be another way. Well, at least one of the hover wheels work. These walls couldn't possibly go around the entire city, could they? Okay, good. This could be useful. Now think, Marty, think. Now, now that it's off the car, it looks like the power cables for the hover system have disconnected. Dead. May 15th, 1986. Yeah, the, the date's right, but... Well, that's not good. Twelve volts. Wait, this is the car battery? Uh, must have been installed in 2015 with the Mr. Fusion. Still has plenty of juice. Let's see here. Red to positive, black to negative. Whoa! Far out. Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in. Okay, Marty. Nothing to be afraid of. It's just an alternate hill valley that's turned my girlfriend into a punk rock vandal. That doesn't mean it's full of post-apocalyptic biker gangs run by armies of Biff clones. Just take a deep breath and remember, we gotta find Doc. It's so, so clean. Good morning, citizen. And a good morning to you too, citizen.
What's going on here, Doc? Jeez, my Hill Valley never looked this good. Watch where you're going, citizen. Sorry. Mr. Parker! That's Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... It's Thursday. Yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. You're out of uniform. That's a violation of Civic Ordinance 9 Triple E. And you're not wearing an ID in direct violation of Ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? Polo shirt? Are you on the pot, citizen? Put your arms up. Spread your legs. Hey, what are you doing? Quiet. Hold still. Hmm. Nothing. What's your deal today, McFly? Uh, can you tell me where I could find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown? Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? At work? That's right. Working at the courthouse. Heavy. Hey, what's with the pat down? What do you think, I'm packing heat? Heat? Contraband? Contraband? You know. Booze, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, circus bubble peanuts? Bubblegum is illegal? Come on, McFly. You're smart enough to know that ignorance of the Civic Ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. I've got to finish my beat. Are you going to make trouble for me today? No. No what? No, sir. That's right, citizen. citizen I need to see doc or uh, citizen Brown do you have an appointment uh, no but then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn citizen Brown's a very busy man that voice sounds familiar Biff Doc? Doc, wait! I need to talk to... ...you. Biff? Hey, well, you're, you're George and Lorraine's youngest. Martin, right? What? You don't know me? Only by reputation. Brown Cadet of the Month, three months running. Impressive. Are you interested in the Citizen Plus program? What is this Citizen Plus? It's Citizen Brown's new re-education program. And I'm the first of Hill Valley's Citizen Plus. Uh, pluses. I? A re-education program? What the hell? Oh, please, don't swear, Martin. It makes me uncomfortable. Listen, Biff, that car I saw you get out of, was that Doc Brown in there with you? Ha! <laughs> Doc! Yeah, that should be his new nickname. But, but yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. How'd you get FaceTime with him? He seems so busy. Well, you got that right, Martin. Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. But fortunately, or uh, unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad apple. A real... 
butthead. What do you mean, a bad apple? What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. T too much trouble. What with the booze, the partying, the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. You <laughs> pack, get it? Uh, yeah. What does this have to do with Citizen Brown? Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen plus or bust. So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, I, I really don't like dredging up the past, but all right, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. Why'd your dogs get you in trouble? You weren't running dog fights, were you? No, nothing that bad. I just used to have a lot of dogs. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Other than them keeping the neighbors up all night, lunging at old people, and eating all the squirrels in the park. In fact, I'm ashamed to say it was my out-of-control dogs that were directly responsible for the banning of dogs throughout Hill Valley. You don't sound very ashamed. Oh, I am. Very, very ashamed. What kind of trouble did you get into with women? They weren't hookers? Oh, no, 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 nothing like that. It's just that I wasn't always d discreet about my affections. What? Public displays of affection, Martin. You know, necking and such. That's illegal? Oh, yeah. You seriously got in trouble for PDAs? You bet. The Browns always say that behaviors that excite your private should be kept in private. Or maybe it's just Citizen Edna who says that. You said something about booze? Beer, rum, whiskey, wine coolers, you name it, I drank it. Not only did I drink it, I smuggled it into Hill Valley, too. Chip off the old block, huh? Used to be I'd knock your block off for a comment like that. But yeah, I guess I was following in Pop's crummy footsteps. Yeah, let's let's change the subject. Thanks. Yeah, I don't like talking about my old nasty self. I want to know more about Citizen Plus. And I just can't wait to tell you all about it. Did I mention the swell digital watch you get with the program? You said you get some sort of watch. Oh, it's a real classy. In. I still haven't figured out how to set the time, but I'm sure a smart guy like you could do it no problem. So what's the point of Citizen Plus? Well, it may not be as noticeable for an upstanding citizen like yourself, but the hypnotherapy sessions help to tame the urges to break the rules. Whoa, whoa. Hypnotherapy? Well, sure, Martin. Why, it makes obedience automatic. Obedience? Some kind of brainwashing? Well, that's a good way to think about it. Scrubbing all those nasty thoughts right out of your noggin. What do you gotta do to be a Citizen Plus? It starts with an application. They take a complete medical evaluation and give you a stack of contracts to fill out. Uh, it sounds boring already. But then... You get an appointment with Citizen Brown. Get about two years. Two years? He's very busy keeping Hill Valley running. I mean, the only time he deviates from his schedule is when some loony tune is running around racking up demerits. Yeah, fortunately, that almost never happens. Okay, let's stop talking about Citizen Plus right now. Okay. Nice clothes. You lose a bed or something? 
What do you mean? I'm wearing what everyone is wearing. It's Polo Shirt Thursday. Uh, you, my friend, are out of uniform. So I've heard. Yeah, well, there's always tomorrow. Hawaiian Shirt Friday. Great. See you later, Biff. Bye, Martin. What's Jen up to now? Jennifer! Jen! You got a problem? Leech and the whoosh bags. I've never heard of them. No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth jazz? I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. Did you get a load of Biff Tannen back there? He's so... Calm. Yeah, creeps me out. You and me both. If that's what the Citizen Plus program's all about, I'll stay a Citizen Minus. So, Jennifer. Uh-huh. What do you think of me? I don't. Hill Valley's totally screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. You do, huh? I'm gonna go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with, weirdo. Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. Happy little trees? Get yourself a watercolor kit. I'm not sharing my wall. Citizen Brown is a really great guy. You're wasting your breath, Martin. I don't buy into all that happy talk. No, really. This crazy police state wasn't his idea. It'll all get undone once I have a good talk with him. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. Your paint's starting to streak. Ah! Look out, son! Mom? Mom? Mom! But are you happy? Happiness is overrated, Lorraine. I'm content. Well, I'll think about it. Mom? Hi there, Martin. I saw you as I was driving in. Did you hear me honking? Mom, that can't be you. Martin, are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. It's just that you're so, so gray. Well, isn't that an uplifting way to greet your mother? Sorry, I just don't... I guess you're right, though. I am going a little gray. No thanks to your father. So what? Are you out here shopping or something? Oh, shopping? <laughs> Who shops anymore? No, it's that time of the month for me again. Uh... For my civic duty. I'll be polishing the statue all day. Oh, right. What's with the golf cart, Mom? Now, Martin, I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the 86s yet. What about my truck? <laughs> no one owns a truck in Hill Valley. Martin, are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, yeah, I just... 
I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. Could you do me a favor? I forgot to give your father my timesheet for last week, and now Mr. Nosy is convinced that I'm hiding something from him. Timesheet? Aren't they annoying? But Citizen Brown always says, a scheduled life is a happy life. Anywho, could you be a dear and drop it off at the house? Here, take the car. Actually, I... I know, uh... I know, dear. Love you, too. I'd give you a kiss, but you know what that gets you. Don't forget to pick me up this evening. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, it's not the truck, but I guess it'll do. a peeping Tom. Ah! Dad, try to warn your old man the next time, okay? Hey, Demerit. Hey, what for? Insufficiently polished shoes. Um, I saw Mom downtown. She told me to give this to you. Thanks. Say, uh, what gives around here? Ah, uh, you know, the usual. Keeping tabs on Hill Valley through my trusty bank of monitors. Always on the lookout for some interesting footage. Interesting. What do you mean, interesting? What kind of silly question is that? I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for over a year now. I know your mother doesn't approve of my work, but... Wait a minute. You say you saw Lorraine? 11 to 12 hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at soup mow counter, cream of asparagus with crackers... What was that? You know your mother's... problems. If she slips up again, it could mean demerits for the whole family. There she is, polishing the statue in the park. Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Good. Unless... How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? Whoa, Dad, what are you telling me? Are you saying Mom's a drunk? Shh, I don't know for sure that your mother is relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately, almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. Confidentially, I suspect she's got a flask hidden somewhere, probably very near the spot where she's working right now. Do me a favor, son, will you? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out. What do you say? That's a good boy. Okay, Dad, we need to talk. 